Now we have our patient details in, we're ready to start scanning. I'm just going to go through the basic buttons that you should do for any change with any scan. So, I'm going to use my arm as an example. Popping the probe on, I want to change the depth so that whatever I'm looking at takes up about two thirds to three quarters of the screen. For the Mindre, we use the bottom dial on the right hand side of the machine. The little green button is highlighted up depth and that means when I now rotate the dial, I can either increase or decrease the depth. As I say, I want it, what I'm looking at to take up about two thirds to three quarters of the screen. It does so about there. Once I'm happy with my depth, I want to change the frequency. There's always a kind of a relationship between frequency and depth. The higher the frequency, the better the resolution, the better the picture you're going to, depth, to get, but the less depth it can penetrate. As we're only kind of scanning to about four centimeters depth here, I'm happy to increase the frequency. At the moment, the green button is highlighting the focus. To change this to the frequency, I just hit the button on top of the dial. Now that the green light highlights the frequency, I can use the dial to increase and decrease the frequency. Once I've done the frequency, I want to change my gain setting. Now gain is essentially how much the ultrasound machine itself is listening to the returning echoes. Overall gain can be found just to the right hand side of the, of the roller ball and by rotating the dial I can either increase or decrease the gain. By increasing the gain too much, I can increase not only the signals that I'm interested in, but also the noise around it. So I can actually lose detail by having the gain setting too high or too low. So what we like to do is have it somewhere nicely in the middle. You may find as you continue to scan uh, and the gel is kind of sinking in, that you actually do just need to decrease the gain a bit because the returning echoes will be being picked up easier. The next thing is your time gain compensation, or your TGC. And that is a very fancy way for saying your gain as you go up and down the screen. And this is used um, by the sliders on the right hand side of the machine. As you can see, as I'm moving an individual slider, it's correlating to different kind of aspects of the beam coming out of the probe. What you'll often find is as the beam is going further away from the probe, the returning echoes are becoming quieter. And for that reason, we just want to amplify or increase the gain at that particular level. For that reason, the TGC sliders are often seen in a kind of diagonal position. And the final thing we want to look at is actually our focal position. Our focal position, as we previously said, is um, denoted by this triangle on the, on the depth gauge. And by pressing the button on top of uh, the dial, the green light highlights the focus, and then we can move the focus up and down to our level of interest. 